Hi everyone, I'm Tony from Intelligent US and SUS.com. Our company is uh, specialized in making custom thermal solutions for our customers. Um, we constantly receive challenges or requests from our customers um, to come up with solutions to mount the use thermal uh, cameras on drones. Um, for example, we've done the Flivu Pro or Tau on DJI Spy 1, Spy 2, Matrice, um, Phantom, etc. Uh, I think one of the toughest challenges that we received from received from our customers is how to mount the tiny flare boson on even a smaller um, drone like the DJI Mavic. Uh, if if you have flown the, the DJI Mavic, you you know that it it is very small one. Um, it doesn't have a lot of room to mount anything on it. It, does, it seems so. So the ta the cha task is very um, challenging, but we we uh, we accepted the challenge <laughs> and we want to to make it and uh, we all we, we, we give it a try and we have come up with a solution um, and then um, it's it's right here on, the, on my hand. Um, so this solution is a small system. Everything weighs about 110 grams only with batteries. Everything. It has the flare boson on in the front, and with the, an angle that you can, you know, you can manually adjust. And then it has the um, the video transmission system. It has the monitor, and then it has a DVR to record video. You, you know that the flare boson doesn't come with any DVR, so we have to add a DVR here, small one. It has a SD card slot right here and there's a button to press before you fly and uh, to record the video. It has its own battery here so you don't have to tap out the battery from the, the Mavic itself which is very complicated task because it's this small opening it up is very difficult also um, the actual soldering of the wire inside the thing might ruin and ruin the, the, the drone. So, um, so by having the separate battery right here, uh, it gives you the convenience. Um, you know, just plug and play, and it's, it it operates independently of the drone itself. And then mounting on the drone is very easy. It has to become. It comes with a piece adapter like that. So all you need to do is just use double-sided tape and tip it on top of the front of the Mavic, uh, which I've done. And then all to mount it on, you can just slide it from the from the front. And when you hear a click, it stays on. And then you can uh, manually adjust the angle right here to remove it. There's a tap underneath here. Just push up and then slide the thing the whole system forward again and then you, you're done. Another thing things that um, this system offer is that because it sits on top of the drone, everything is clear, all the downward sensors are free. Uh, you, uh, you're not blocking any sensor down here, so you can even fly indoor stably. Also the front sensor are not blocked, so, so everything, all the sensors of the Mavic remain uh, clear. Uh, so with the f without further ado, let's go to the lab and give it a test. All right, so here we are in the lab uh, with the, all the system ready. Monitor for thermal cameras over there, and also this is the DJI uh, Go app with the with the Mavic camera. So the Mavic is on, the boson system is on. It's raining outside, so we can't fly it outside. Um, but also flying indoor, we're going to demonstrate that the, the Mavic can hold positions normally without the system. All right, so uh, let's give it a test. So that is the thermal camera 
All right, so luckily today it's not raining. Uh, so we have everything ready to go and give it a test. Uh, today we wanna do a range test to see how long this thing can fly before losing any kind of signal, either the thermal signal or the DJI signal. Okay, so everything ready, let's go give it a test. All right, here we go. Okay, I think we are near a uh, no-fly zone, so it's going to stop there at 125 meters away from me at altitude of 42 meters. And as you can see, the, uh, the thermal signal is still good. This is a boson 220, but you can see uh, maybe somebody walking underneath. So let's fly to another direction and see how long it can fly. All right, so we're gonna try another direction, see how even further we can fly. Two hundred sixty meters away, sixty-four meter altitude. And um, all the signal is still good. So I think this is a proof or at least a test to show everything is looking fine. Okay, so I'm recalling the Mavic now and call it a, a day. As you can see, this thing hovers comfortably with that split boson on top, 5.8 analog signal for thermal vision and DJI Go F leverage. All right, the battery on top of that will give you ample time, maybe two to three flights of the Mavic itself. <laughs> 